it's here. I know a lot of people have been super excited for this event for the SSR Jack Hart, and I am absolutely right there with you. I have him on JP, and I love him so much. I love my son boy. This event is very similar to other hometown events, and honestly, in my heart, this is the Sages Island hometown event, although no characters are actually from this area. This is a five-book twist to an event, and I have terrible news. <laughs> I have terrible news. <laughs> so, objectively speaking, the tap noises for the notes is hilarious, but in practice, it is so great. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. But, like, it's funny, but it's awful. I have to play these without sound because while I like the music itself, the sound effects are terrible. It, it, it's literally the worst. Um, and because I love making my own life a living hell, I'm gonna show you what these twist tunes are like to get my point across. We have two of these. Be prepared. So we have some new event items, and also this event has two event shops. We have churros, which will be used in the churro event shop, and also to raise the spell levels of the event participation cards. You'll also get port fest patches, which can be used in the corresponding event shop. And to groovy cards, you'll need port fest jackets. I don't know if people would count this as an event item, but I'm going to. There's a special paint for this event as well for, like, the guest room, but we'll get to that in a moment. These are some of the cutest cards in the game. I said what I said. In the gacha, we've got Jack and Ruggie. Our participation cards are Rook and Floyd. You'll have to clear the story to make them both permanent, and in Rook's case, also earn, I think it was 800 churros. I honestly do not remember, and I couldn't find anyone else who remembered. If you'd like a more in-depth breakdown of the cards, I have a video on that. Link will be in the iCard and in the description. We've got some new furniture pieces, and it actually requires a special component to make it. You will need magic sea breeze paint to make all of these pieces, and you can get them from the special battles in the guest room battle area. The following pieces of Port Fest furniture are pop attribute items. Oh wait, shit, that's <laughs> Oh my god. You can tell that I wrote this before we got the guest room in EN. <laughs> um, they're cute attribute. That's what that is in EN. It's cute. We've got SSR Jack's port wear outfit on a mannequin, the port rug, and the Port Fest partition. That's not the actual name. I just don't want to read the kanji. But it's a partition. Do I really need to read the kanji, though? E yes, I probably should. Next up, we've got some furniture with both cute and basic attributes. The port ornaments 1 and 2, as well as the golden strow rudder. There's only one piece that's cute and unique, which is the port fest flower decor. Remember to make these before the deadline, otherwise you won't be able to make them. Usually this is a long while after the event ends, so that's good at least. But once the event is over, you cannot earn more event paint. So you need to make sure you're getting all the paint you want before the event ends. That's pretty much it. Please, please, please remember to farm the event paint as well as churros. Um, I hope that EN doesn't have Rook be available at 800 churros, but I mean, I guess we'll see. But I mean, other than that, though, I'm really, really excited for this event. The cards are just so cute. <laughs> Twist tunes be damned. The cards, the cards make up for it. The cards will... They will heal, you know. <laughs> Once again, thank you everyone for watching my videos. If you would like to support me beyond liking and subscribing and all of that, I have a Patreon and I also have channel memberships. If you like live streaming, I live stream over on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my videos and I hope they help you. Bye! Shameless plug over. <laughs>